I'm here with Narendra Narang at Red Hat Summit, and we're talking about one of my favorite topics, which is uh, video video content delivery. What are some of the challenges if somebody wanted to deploy a, a content delivery service that they might face? Content uh, can mean a lot of things uh, to not only the service providers, but also the consumers of that content. And for this discussion, I think I'd like to hone in on particularly on the video content uh, for this discussion. And uh, to address your question, the I think some of the key components when you want to undertake um, a video delivery service uh, or a video content delivery service, um, the, I think the three components are essentially understanding the breadth of that of that content uh, and the content repository and, and getting basically a better understanding of all the digital assets uh, under your control uh, and therefore how that content can be can be delivered uh, efficiently. And that requires a couple of things. Um, for example, the ability for you to understand uh, your customer base, your, your essentially your demographic, uh, and therefore the sheer volume of content. Because studies have essentially shown that, uh, you know, again, there's it, it, they essentially follow, or the consumption of the content essentially follows the 80-20 principle. So in this case, for example, you might uh, translate that to saying that, um, 80% of your demographic or your subscriber base may only address about 20% of the content and then from there on the curve just falls off. So you can then start to understand what type of infrastructure you need uh, to, to align with that video delivery service. Um, so again, that, that being the first point, you also then have to understand how that content is distributed and, and to adjust for that in terms of the distribution of your infrastructure. So, so like being here in Boston, just to use an example, uh, you, you might be able to assume that it, during baseball season, more people might be watching a Red Sox game than anything else on television, or, or on Sundays, they'd be watching the Patriots. That is absolutely correct. Um, and, and to extend that thought even further, uh, you know, what, think about what if you could, uh, you know, on the fly or on demand, essentially understand the behavior uh, and, and not, not only understand, but get, un get your infrastructure uh, to predict certain peaks in demand uh, and hence adjust your infrastructure for that demand so that when the demand does start to peak, you are now prepared and you're really delivering uh, that essential quality of experience to your consumers or your subscribers of the content at the other end. And so uh, how would something like OpenShift, given that we're at the Red Hat Summit, how would OpenShift help with something like that? Um, so there was one other point I wanted to make, which is the, the sheer scale uh, or, the, or the sheer scale of a video content delivery service. Right? So we've talked about the distribution aspect of it. We've talked to some degree about the intelligence uh, of, of uh, or embeddings a certain degree of intelligence to handle the content and therefore the, the delivery. But we, I think we also need to talk about or stress on the, on the scale uh, because over time, if you're able to keep up with the uh, this quality of meet or exceed this quality of experience for your subscribers, uh, you know you're going to see your demand for the service scale uh, very very quickly. Um, and I think OpenShift is well aligned to 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 understand and and also to deliver uh, and work with uh, a lot of uh, these these key parameters. So, for example, we talked initially about. Uh, the, di the distribution. When you consider a distributed architecture uh, at scale, uh, OpenShift is able to deliver a lot of these key components essentially packaged together that are able to come together to deliver the uh, both the orchestration of this infrastructure, the delivery of the of the services on top of this this infrastructure, a lot of the telemetry that's involved in understanding what's going on at a deeper level within the infrastructure. Um, and then also being able to then leverage that information for things like uh, healing or remediating your infrastructure when there are issues, uh, auto-scaling that infrastructure on demand to keep up with the peaks that you mentioned, um, and then also then able to leverage, for example, the if you wanted to leverage uh, certain predictive or machine learning algorithms on top of the platform, uh, that is also easily deliverable with a platform like OpenShift because of its uh, some of the features we have 
uh, that incorporate the use of, of GPUs that we're seeing a much more prominent use for within, uh, within this space. What kind of predictive things would, would people think about using in terms of video content delivery? So they could use it for everything from, from simple predictions, so understanding simple things like peaks and demands based on um, the analytics that are collected uh, based on the telemetry within the infrastructure, uh, but then they could also use it for, uh, to, to, to solve a sort of second order type of, of problems uh, within the network, you know, one of the things uh, that is that is most common is understanding uh, how do you ensure that the content that your subscriber is consuming or is about to consume is located or delivered from the very edge of your infrastructure, thereby it not having to be transferred uh, over over a large network, um, and and thereby incurring additional latencies and decreasing that quality of experience that you're aspiring to. And then from a scalability perspective, I mean, obviously, OpenShift can scale, but in the context of video, what would you, what would you highlight most there? Certainly. Um, so OpenShift has several inbuilt auto-scaling features, um, and I think being able to leverage that with a service uh, or, or, or service that is, that is well-suited for video delivery, uh, I think is ideal. Um, and then not only being able to scale up, but also then being able to scale down when those services or those resources are no longer required as you start to, as the demand for that content uh, starts to decline, uh, which is again a natural effect of, of you know, a, a, what comes after a peak in the demand, uh, I think is, is again, very well, well suited to, uh, to a platform like, like OpenShift.